Yo, what's up? It's Ryan, and bringing you a uh, a little blender thing. And this is how I made uh, this picture, actually, right here. Um, I, it's an idea for a tattoo I have. <laughs> if, if this was like an audio waveform, like that's the basic idea. And so I decided to draft it in a in blender. And yeah, I'll show you exactly how I did that. So, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, re render preview, it's like this. Um, how I got this main shape right here is, let me see, over here, kind of took a plane, made it pretty big and like that. Um, subdivided a few times, probably about that many times, along normal all the way out and just kind of like fractaled it. That's how I got the base shape, huh? and I squished it together a little bit. If we go over here, you can see that I put decimate on, because without it, it, it was just like a lot more stuff there. Um, so just I decimated to taste, and then put a wireframe, because without it, like yeah, <laughs> it's a quite a different <laughs> look. That even though I, with some work, that could look pretty cool. Um, so I, I put a wireframe modifier on. Uh, the material is arguably the most basic thing ever. <laughs> it's just glossy, diffuse, black, for now, done. Um, I have this giant thing, which is like a slight blue. Like a slight blue, just making sure I'm recording. A slight blue with some glossy, and for now, and I use it as a backdrop. Yeah. Because I kind of like how it reflects the light a little bit more than like just using like the world would. Um, I've got this particle system, uh, which is one of the, like these spheres that I have with the super basic diffuse glossy for now, with an add shader and an orange emission with 0.75 strength. So you get something something like that. I think it looks really cool. Uh, and then it's just a particle system, a box, uh, a volume with a bunch of random size, and just size to taste. Um, I have three lights, a little three-point lighting, maybe, sort of. Uh, I've got this light right here, pretty strong, like such a slight red that it's actually white still. Uh, yeah, I've got that uh, at like a low angle. Got this coming from above. It's like it's white, and it's stronger than the other one. And I've got this giant one up here, uh, massive but super super light. Um, yeah. So then, uh, the I've got this empty right here, which is serving as the focal point for the camera uh, for that depth of field. Without it. Uh, oh god. Okay, so point 0.4. Without it, it looks like this. Uh, with it at point 0.4. Just gives it a little extra, like, interest, you know? Um, uh, also, over here in the scene management system tab thing, I, I don't even know. Uh, I've got the film uh, filter, I guess, on a bit of exposure and a bit of gamma just to let light in. Uh, this sort of curve brought everything down. Without it, it was crazy bright, so obviously I brought it down a little bit and didn't do anything to the colors. Um, rendered at 1920, 1080, uh, 450 samples. There's plenty of samples for this image in particular. Uh, a white background, basically, with one strength. And yeah, that's about all for the modeling. Um, actually, let me just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do something like this so I have something to show you with compositing. So, oh, good God. I need a little more than that. Okay, we're, 
we're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, so I'm compositing. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so obviously the higher, like, higher resolution, the real thing. Um, I'll have this glare note on, or I'm just gonna mute it, everything, and just show you one by one. Um, we've got a viewer node, which is giving me the, uh, the background and everything. Uh, I throw on a glare, uh, ghosts, high, and then all these numbers. Uh, just kind of set it to taste. There's a little bit of a glow on there. Uh, just did some basic contrast with that. Super light. Um, added some oranges and some blues with that. Uh, lens distortion for that chromatic aberration or whatever. Uh, this is actually terrible. One second. We're, we're getting a, a better thing. I use a GTX 970, if you're curious. I'm going to upgrade it to a 1080 eventually, though. Um, I'll get back to... Uh, it looks way better. Uh, throw on the... Uh, I'll start over. So glare. Brightness, contrast, super subtle. Color balance, super subtle. Again, uh, lens distortion, a little less subtle. Um, some curves. Yeah. Uh, so then I took that out and threw it into Photoshop. And that this is where like a lot of it came from. Um, so I take for the like the noise and the speckle in it. I uh, what you do is you add a solid color like that with a filter, noise, add noise, rasterize, just hit OK. And then, like, uh, opacity is literally 2%. So it's super subtle, but I like the kind of graininess it gives. Um, then I have curves like, like that without it. Like this was the original. And throw that on, throw the curves on, just brings everything down, mellows it out. Uh, gradient fill to like darken the edges. Color balance, kind of like what I got. Just to taste, and then brightness, just to bring it back up because it did get really dark. And then, yeah, and now it's my wallpaper. <laughs> but yeah, that's a. Uh, so I made that. It was super simple, uh, but I thought it was really effective, and it came out pretty cool. It kind of looks like. It's from Battlefield, almost, but yeah. Uh, if, if you enjoyed, like. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer them. And yeah, subscribe, like, do all that jazz, and I'll see you next time. Peace.